Welcome to the calendar tutorial for managing questionnaires and questionnaire bundles. We'll begin here in the questionnaire administration screen and we'll navigate here by uh, going to administration and selecting questionnaires. Within this screen you can see all the available uh, questionnaires that you have in place and, and by the way when I refer to questionnaires I'm really also talking kind of more broadly about intake forms, case histories, obviously questionnaires, outcome surveys, anything that you would like uh, patients or their care providers uh, to, you know, their children to uh, complete prior to their encounter or after their encounter, as well as any any uh, questions that you may want, like your staff, to maybe to assist uh, in the intake process when working with a patient. So um, this, this can be a very, very flexible um, feature within the system. And to that extent, counselor is happy to help you create your case histories, questionnaires, intake forms, etc. in the system. Uh, so all you have to do is provide uh, those as, as a PDF or Word document to our, the counselor support team and we'll build them custom in your account. So before uh, you know, maybe you start trying to create some uh, big questionnaire, uh, I would encourage you to send that to the counselor support team first. We can build it and then from there, of course, you can always edit. So we can save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. And there's no charge for that, of course. Um, all right. So if you have your questionnaires in place, you say, yeah, you know, uh, maybe I, I want to tweak um, maybe a questionnaire overall or I want to change a uh, question within a questionnaire, right? You can always pop into this screen and click the edit option. You can see the list of questions currently in place. You can potentially add a new question if you wish. Um, you can edit existing questions, right? So let's go ahead and look here. Or of course, you can delete. You can copy. So if you uh, see a question you like, but maybe you want to make, make one small tweak to it, and so you have sort of two versions of the same, essentially the same question, you can easily copy it and then edit the second one. Okay. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just say, all right, let's edit. And this is going to show us, of course, the verbiage. So if you see something in here, maybe you want to change from hearing problem to hearing loss or whatever else you want to change it to, right? Uh, you can make that modification. Um, you'll also notice that if this area is checked, it's basically saying, hey, uh, we want to include this in the information that gets imported into um, the case history section of the report or in the chart notes. That's an optional thing you can you can choose to import this information if you wish. Uh, that will have different verbiage, right? Because the messaging the patient sees is different than the information or the text that would import into the history or chart note sections. And so you can you can phrase these differently, right? For uh, for the intended you know purpose. Now down here we can see. Um, a lot of different options for how this question really takes shape. Um, so you likely wouldn't change these too much once these once these have been set up by a counselor, you know, based on your the templates you're provided. There's not a lot of reason to change these. And in fact, if you have any questions before you change anything, just reach out to the counselor support team. We can guide you through just to make sure that you know the end result is what you're looking for. So when in doubt, reach out to the support team, and we're happy to help. Uh, but for example, if you wanted to change from small text box to medium text box, that's a pretty simple change. You can make that, of course, and then click save. Another thing is that if uh, for each question, there's an option whether you wish to require it or not. That means that the patient has to complete it before they're able to submit the questionnaire. You may wish to make your questionnaires a little more strict and have more things required or pull back on some questions. That's entirely up to you, but you can check or uncheck this depending on uh, your specific preferences. Once any changes you make here, go ahead and just click save. Okay, so that will update the question. Now it's important to note that you can continue to edit. You can you know, jump over to other questions, make changes. You also can change the order. Maybe I want this question to go all the way to the top, right? So I'll use the blue arrow that will push it all the way up to the top, right? Or I can move this one position using the inside arrows, right? So you can reorder your questions pretty quickly. Now let's say, oh, I didn't mean to do it. Let's put that back at the bottom. Let's use the all the way to the bottom arrow. And there we see it again is at the bottom, okay? Um, so your, uh, your questions are up to you as far as the order and the contact, uh, the, the text that's within them. It's important to note when you make these changes though, when you finish that, make sure you click save. Because what's happening is you're, you may be changing individual questions, you may be changing the order. This is going to be the global save. This is going to say, all right, let's take all those changes and boom, let's lock them in. Okay, and now those changes are in place, in this case for the adult patient intake. You can proceed through, of course, and edit as many questionnaires as you like. You also have the opportunity to delete questionnaires, although I would caution you that when you do delete those, those they are gone. Um, and so... Um, 
you, you if you really feel confident that it shouldn't be on the list, then go ahead and delete. But but like I said, have some caution around that. OK. Um, all right. So let's talk next about questionnaire bundle. So we have in this case five questionnaires here, but the, oftentimes you need these to go out together. Right. So we're going to click here on administration and then scroll down here to questionnaire bundles. Right. A uh, very common example to be new patient uh, in, you know, intake or um, pediatric or tinnitus or vestibular, any kind of specialty testing, APD, uh, speech pathology course have a lot of different scenarios where they may have, you know, we want to have bundled uh, questionnaires. So this enables you to set up an option here. I'm just going to create a really boring one here. OK, and we'll click save. Once I click save, it then says, OK, let's add a questionnaire and it shows us our list of five questionnaires. So for this. Um, uh, scenario, I want to add auto toxic medications. I want to add, let's try another one here, pediatric. And just for kicks here, even though it doesn't make a lot of sense, let's add vestibular. OK, so uh, once I click save here, of course, it adds this to the list, right? I can edit this later on if maybe I pick the wrong questionnaires uh, or maybe I have them in the wrong order. Right. So it'll it'll put them in the order in which you select them. So if you say, hey, whoops, I didn't mean to put ototoxin medications first. I wanted that last. OK, let's delete it. And now let's add it again. And it will then put it at the end of the list. Right. And then click save and it's locked in. So if you're within a patient profile, you then have the ability to if you're an email out their questionnaires or bring it up on a tablet for the patient to complete, you could take a bundle, which is going to then select all three of those questionnaires in the order in which you selected them. Uh, and then, of course, you can provide that to the patient or it can be sent out via email to the patient. These bundles also can be linked to appointment, uh, specific appointment types. So therefore, when the appointment notification goes out, which does occur as soon as you schedule the appointment, uh, within that appointment notification email, they'll see the details of the appointment, so the time and the location, everything, date and everything, and the details. Along with that, there can be a link to a questionnaire bundle, whether it's one or multiple questionnaires. Uh, they then right through that appointment notification email can click the link, complete their questionnaires fully online, and then they're stored immediately in Counselor. So the questionnaire bundle feature not only saves you time within the patient profile, but also is highly applicable when we're trying to get that questionnaire, that link to the questionnaire in the hands of the patient right away. OK, now the last option I want to just quickly go over uh, regarding patient questionnaires is the report options. There are some options you do have here regarding um, how the questionnaire looks and feels. So once a patient completes a questionnaire, you can bring that up as a PDF. In fact, it's very commonly used uh, while you're actually sitting there with the patient. You can bring that up on your tablet or laptop computer as you're taking the case history. So you can view the digital PDF at the same time that you're entering your case history findings typically into the counselor insight feature. Uh, so this does give you some ability to change, you know, font, font size, margin, etc. Um, if you ever need to for some reason. OK, um, one other thing I want to point out here really quickly is there is the option as well to have a notification email sent out when a questionnaire is completed. Now, there are dashboard widgets dedicated to tracking widgets, uh, but this gives you a very, you know, a real time alert that, hey, a questionnaire was completed. In this section. In the question report options, if you add an email address here, this is going to be kind of a global alert, meaning that any questionnaire that's created, uh, whoever you list or the multiple people you list will receive an email with that alert. Right. So this is a catch all global. Any questions completed. I want to know about it. OK, there's another option on that same note within the questionnaire options themselves. Let's go ahead here and adult, once again, adjust that adult. Um, intake. There's also a notification email here. Now, this is going to be specific to this uh, questionnaire. So you may say, you know what, we just want at the global level to say, anytime a questionnaire is, is completed, let's go ahead and tell this person or these two people, right? Great, you can totally do that. Or if you want to specify further, you could say, um, for the adult patient intakes, we want this person to know. For the pediatric intake, we want a different person to know, right? So you can specify at the questionnaire level. And or you can keep it uh, or you can have it uh, at the global level because you could do both of these. You could say, hey, I have, a, I have someone set at the global level, but at the individual clinic uh, uh, um, questionnaire level, just for pediatrics, I want to add someone. And so that person who is set up for the global alerts will get all of them. 
and the person who's set up here within the pediatric um, uh, pediatric patient intake template will just get it when the pediatric uh, questionnaires are completed. Okay, so as I've kind of shown you here, there's a lot of options, a lot of flexibility regarding uh, questionnaires. We'd be very happy to assist you and kind of talk you through any of these features and really help make sure that these are being optimized uh, and, of course, saving the most time as possible for you and your team and making it convenient for your patients as well. So please give us a call, email us, live chat us if we can help in any way. Thank you very much for joining us for the counselor tutorial for managing questionnaires and questionnaire bundles.